Hello there, this is Malak, and uh, welcome to the next part of my Let's Play Dwarf Fortress. Um, it's uh, episode 14, if I am not mistaken. I've had quite a few little, um, what do you call it, a bit of advice, things like that. Um, and that's basically a case of, let's, you know, reclaim some of these bolts, because apparently when they get shot, they end up being flagged as forbidden for the dwarves taking them, because you can turn around to the dwarves and say, no, you're, um, you, you don't want to be grabbing that crossbow bolt because you've just fired it and there might be an enemy nearby, so probably collecting it, not a good plan. But then after the battle, or whatever it is that, um, or is there a, a claim, um, oh, hang on, there was a, was there a massive claim everything? There might have been a massive set building item properties B. Um, reclaim items buildings. So if I do that and then go completely diagonally that, will that then flag everything as claimable? That's a store in stockpiles, but I don't know whether that's specifically crossbow bolts or, or not. It might be. Oh, we've got a lot of keyers. See, the problem with keyers is they're not a pile of vomit. Oh, God, hang on, reports. Here we go. The restless spider, the keyer is fighting, the keyer is fighting, fisher dwarves are fighting. Um, various fights are occurring. Um, I need, oh god, yeah, there's some naming, naming stuff. Dog is fighting. Yes, I, I, there are there are more dwarves to name. Oh right, okay, very quickly, shall we? Let's view you nickname. You are oh, the Mimilal, and you are another. You are an engraver, a dedicated engraver. That is a good thing. That is a good thing. We also have a jeweler and a gem cutter. Now that's actually good timing because we do have quite a few gems. So you two are going to be especially useful. Okay, we our jeweler is Danon Nine, and our jewel cutter is wow. I don't even know. What that is. Blessed gens. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Wasn't there somebody's name I spelt completely wrong? Something where it's actually kick but I put kill. Yes, there is. Before I go any further, so I'm just going to scroll down. Okay, okay. We've got a weaver, which is... We could probably do with making some clothing. And... Jordan Whitaker, you have been randomly selected. Well, not randomly, it's just arbitrary. This is whatever order it is in there. We have another fishery worker. Damn, we've got a lot of fishery workers. I'm going to put all of these fishery workers so that they actually fish. Because some of them are literally going to be hanging around waiting for fish to cut up. But I actually want everybody... Someone's a dedicated milker at the bottom. I wonder who's going to end up being a milker. Milky, milky. Alright, let's focus on... Running around babbling. Oh yes, spoon fed. You are you are in fact babbling because you've gone basically insane, I think. The stress. I think you've taken all your clothes off. Um Llama wool vest, alpaca hood, a glove, um a, a cloak, a mitten, various a sheep wool sock. Now this does mean spoon fed. I think you are you are lost to us all. <laughs> Running around babbling inventory. So basically all you've oh thank goodness you've still got your trousers and your dress on. Um you've only got a sock and a shoe on your right foot, so <laughs> you've got nothing on your left foot, but you do have a glove and a mitten on your left hand. That's 
dress and some trousers. So you're so you've got your dress. So at least you're you're mostly still clothed. Um, unfortunately, let's let's view your your um, profile, whatever you want to call it, which is, is your status, is it? Okay, let's go to Spoonfed, shall we? Spoonfed has been miserable. He has been annoyed by flies, complained about the draft, forced to eat vermin to survive. Well, that's because I didn't build a bridge. Um, talked with a child, complained of the nasty water, he's complained of the lack of a well. I'm working on it, man! Although it's a bit late for you, I think. He's been satisfied at work lately, and caught in the rain, complained of hunger, three children. Um, oh no, Skippy, Koala Rada and Twix are going to be upset when you finally starve to death, because I think you're probably going to die from your babbling nonsense. Mm. Spoonfed, you are, I think, lost to us. Anyway, moving on, we have another fishery worker who is um, Pandas B, Pandas Z B. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm sure you'll you'll correct me. Most people do when I pronounce their names wrong. Where what else have we got? Um, <laughs> Doctor Chisington or Cheesington. Good old Dr. Cheesington. You are also a fishery worker, not a doctor, unfortunately. That would have been that amusing. We have another farmer. Who is the Red Army Commissioner? Commissar. Commissar, not Commissioner. A Red Army Commissar. And a milker. Who Who is randomly... Or arbitrarily, <laughs> someone we, well, I, I know quite well. Good old Dr. Isix, you are a milker in, an, in, in, a, in a, a fortress full of dwarves who, who slaughter animals. We have an architect, a dedicated architect. Nice, okay. Oh, that's alright, we, we, every now and again we do need a good architect, don't we? We've got Obsidalicious. Obsidalicious. I'm assuming that's in reference to obsidian and being delicious. Well, as long as you don't... You're not a cook, so that's okay. We have a random peasant who also needs a name. So we've got Stargazer. Oh, God. Stargazers. You are a random peasant. And then we have a whole... A whole... Well... Crazy-ass set of children to, um, to name as well. Oh god, I pressed the wrong button completely on that one, didn't I? So... First child... Is Iconic. Our second child is I don't know big big OJ three big Odge three by Gorge three by Goge if it's a if it's an E not a three I, I, I don't know internet names especially when people find that theirs is already taken it's a terrible thing isn't it ah and Kitsuna. Our child. Um, jam man. You are jam man. Oh, and we've got actually one stapler. Fuck stash. Serious as mind in there. So we have now all named. Snowy Owen, you're making bone bolts. You are multi talented. This will not do. Now. Patches. Let me view. Because I did. You were horrified at the kitten murder. I do apologise for that. Well, actually, no, I don't really apologise, but I, I'll pretend to apologise. Um, and then you are a caretaker, trapper, dissector, marksman, 
dodger, so you're rusty at quite a few things. What we're going to do is we're going to make an animal training place and we're going to make some traps and I think we've already made quite a few wooden traps, haven't we? I'm pretty sure we've made traps. But obviously we're not going to be able to see them because... Okay, we've got lots of traps, so we need to build traps. Where do creatures... Who's taking a... What the hell are you... Someone's taking a, a bin. I think they're just collecting. You're just collecting stuff. Right. We need to set up traps. A copper bolt. We need to claim. Claim said copper bolt. I think these... are um, new. Newly fired. So soon those gear corpses can't be uh, can't be gutted and, and slaughtered. You know what I mean? We've got an opossum containing blood splatters. Joy. Mutilated corpse. So let's make some traps. We're going to make a cage trap. There. Another cage trap there. We're going to put a couple of cage traps just in the entrance. We're going to need to have some more mechanisms built. We don't have any... So let's see what we have in stock. In fact, actually, look at that. We've got exact numbers now. We've got some rainbow trout. Why is it? I don't understand the difference between red um, and not red. Anyone know? Is it in transit and unavailable? That kind of thing? I have no idea. We've got a lot of plump helmets, so we can afford to cook some. We've got 88 prepared meals. We have a lot of prepared meals. Look at these prepared meals. A beautiful banquet of 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 treats. I mean, behold the the fantastical uh, raw mussel biscuits. Oh my god. Why would you make biscuits out of raw mussel? Um, and we've got alpaca tallow biscuits. And we've got male perch biscuits. I'm guessing they're in the shape of a penis so that you know that it came from a male fish. I don't know. The fish actually have penis. Well, some of them do. But anyway, let's move on from, from that. Um, we've got um, wombat lung biscuits. Alpaca intestine biscuits. <laughs> they're fine quality. Look at that asterisk. An asterisk. That's a decent quality. And we've got just here those alpaca tallow biscuits with the because I think um, I got that wrong. I thought star was better than the lines, but I think the lines are apparently better than the star. So they're fantastically tasty, fat biscuits made of I mean camel fat basically. They're camelids. They're related. Muscle stew, llama lung stew, <laughs> fantastic llama lung stew. If you if if llama lung stew is your thing, then you're gonna love it. And we've got a chopped llama liver roast. Oh, we've got 13 of them. Uh, you know what? I actually That does actually sound quite nice. I, I have to admit, I, I do like... Um, I've got kidney stew. Not, not brilliant quality, but decent. Not a big fan of tripe. Um, but yeah, that, that actually looks quite nice. Um, <laughs> we've got... We've actually not got a huge amount other than wine so we could probably do with some brewiness going on lots of fat lots of llama fat ridiculous amounts of seeds what's the difference between the blue and the brown seeds doesn't seem to be any obvious difference weapons we have training stuff we've got pickaxes battle axes Ah, uh, here we go. Look at this. This is a way of doing it. Let's reclaim all of those. Yes, yes, yes. Um, we've got a lot of armour. 
Ah, oh, that's we've got a lot of, of stuff. I assume it's all dwarven dwarven owned stuff. Yeah, we've got a lot of stuff. Quivers, we've got quivers, we've got anvils, we've got a lot of quivers. Do we, what weapons have we got? Bows. We need bows. We've got a bronze crossbow, a, a business bronze crossbow. We've got various crossbows, but can we, and this is the question, make, I think it's only crossbows, isn't it? I don't think you can actually make proper bows. I think it might be an idea to make some menacing spikes and corkscrews. Wheelbarrows, minecarts, all good stuff. Okay, let's make an enormous wooden corkscrew. Few of them. Menacing wooden spikes. Actually, no, the menacing spikes aren't as good as a spiky, spiky ball. That'll give us a few traps that will aid us in our quest killing things lots. It's a very much of a stock related episode today. Hope you don't mind too much. We've got 45... For whatever reason, we've got 45. What's the difference between the, these and those? I really would like to know what the difference is. Um, various tanned highs, that's good. Cloth, thread... There is logs, got some stones, good, good, good. A lot of rough gems, so we could do with the gem stuff. We've got lots of traps, boxes, bags, bins, barrels, buckets. Oh yes, yes, the Rhyolite mug, the artifact mug. Various wheelbarrows. Wombat bone figures. Lovely. Crowns. Various hideous crafts. Ten corpses, lots of body parts and remains. Green tree frogs, firefly remains. I'm guessing the cats must have caught that. Traction benches. Okay. Now, people have suggested that it might be an idea to... Um, or were? Outpost Leo's... Ah, oh, a caravan! Excellent! This is... This is good news indeed! Probably. There we go. That's the quickest way to get back to where you're going. Now, oh, we've, we're, we're setting up these traps, slowly but surely. A recruit is throwing a tantrum. No. Come on, True Gaming. Why are you throwing a tantrum? People. Dwarves. All nuts. All completely nuts. Now, looking at all these, we've got an awful lot of dwarven wine. We've probably got plenty of booze. I know different dwarves like different things, but um, so you've calmed down, which is a good. A snatcher. Is that the snatcher? Okay, follow. So there you are, Mr. Snatcher. He's a goblin thief. I think that being a snatcher means he'll try and steal children. Although he's... He's running off with nothing, actually. Nothing at all. He's gone. Yay! Probably. Okay. Right, we need a trader. We need to move some goods here. Okay. We need to um, trade our, our best goods. Thrones, tables, that kind of thing. But the also the other thing actually we could really do with crafts. Here we go. Had a 
do we view? How do you enter the um, the goods? Here we go. Oh. bring those finished goods. You never know, some of them might actually be valuable. <laughs> I'm not, you know. And just for those few master pieces that we have. not going to hurt just bringing a few other things in and hopefully muscle shells got a lot of muscle shells okay let's decorate with shell and make shell oh my god you can actually make shell leggings and gauntlets and helms Oh god, we're definitely doing that. Until you run out of shell. Make make crap armor. I command it. Everyone's well, quite a lot of people are are, are a bit feeling a bit down. Chris Chris Dragonslayer's produced a masterpiece. There's lots of fighting going on. Needs an empty cage. We need more cages. Did we get plenty of mechanisms? We haven't actually got that many mechanisms on the go, have we? Okay. Let's see. Because we've got nothing coming to the trade depot, so... Let's trade. <laughs> Greeting from the mountain homes. Your efforts are legend there. Let us trade. Yeah, sorry about the last time. Um, we were kind of a bit nuts. Wow, we've got a lot of a lot of stuff. Those finished goods are um, are good. Let's let's start this good gold bar, silver blouse, black bronze, copper. Copper is good. Copper, iron is expensive. You know what? I'd be tempted. Minus the gold, I think pretty much everything. Black bronze, silver. The gold bars, no. Let's let's trade a load of our tat. Not a load of our tat, but you know. I'll consider that. Oh, I'd force the trade through. Right, um. Oh, it doesn't matter. We've got various jewels, blocks, um. glass, clay, loam. Some various bits of wood. We can we can get the wood ourselves. I mean, admittedly, it's um, cheap as chips. The wood, which, I, which ironically is quite possibly a good a good thing to do. Is that really? No, no, no. We've got more stuff. I was about to say, is that really all they've got? We've got ropes. Rope is good. I think that's probably enough rope. Let's just see if there's any cheaper rope. All we need is, is a bit of rope. Water skins are pretty good. An iron drum. Bismuth bronze drum. Okay, let's trade these. Let's get rid of those. No, we need the pigtail fibre cap and a quiver. No, we wanna we wanna keep those. Various bone goods. How about that? Excellent. That worked. 
We've still got loads of tap for you. An iron harp, a copper harp. You see, we can melt those down. A bronze drum, an iron harp. What is that? A water skin. Dog leather water skin. Let's, let's be a bit more cautious. Copper mini forge, a zinc cage. Yeah, we can melt all these things down. We've got llamas and alpacas in various cages, of course, yes. Yes, we um, we like the idea of that in a bit anyway. A turkey hen cage, a billy goat hay cage. Alpacas and llamas. They, they like the camelids, don't they? they? They really do like their camelids, these dwarves do. Excellent. Excellent. We're getting we're getting some stuff. We like the uh, we've got various barrels which we don't really need. Buckets, buckets. Right. Okay. We've we've still wanting to get more stuff, and they like they really do like our our tat. Hey, you know what? It is might as well. The way I see it, if they like our various stone goods, then they can bloody well have it. Come on. Lots of people. Shift lots of stuff. Here we go. Oh, true gaming. Stop throwing tantrums. Here we go. Calm down. That's it. Well, hang on, what's going there? Oh, here we go, something's going on. Withdraws from society. So, you are, um... You have claimed a craft dwarf's workshop. Okay, I'm hoping that you, um... Because this is actually a different kind of mood. The way the moods work, which I didn't quite get when I first played or last played Dwarf Fortress, was um, if you get possessed, you don't get any experience. But I think a, a weird mood you, you might, which is can only be a good thing. Okay, I want some of those cages now. I'll pack a cage. Llama cage, yak bull cage, dwarven ale. Well, that's not going to hurt, is it, to get some more booze in? <laughs> a wombat bone figurine of a beaver man. What? What kind of mental mental thing is that. And also a willow shield. No, we, we don't actually want to trade a willow shield. And also their counter offer is pretty rubbish. No, we don't want to trade a quiver or a cap. In fact, actually, their entire... I like that. I love that wombat bone figurine. This is a finely crafted wombat bone figurine of a beaver man. The item is a finely designed image of a beaver man in wombat bone by Snow and Owen. You, you like beaver men. That's a little bit odd. Oh, stop counter-offering ridiculous amounts of stuff. No! Look. Stop adding absurd amounts of goods to the trading tape. What? Oh, give me a break. Now look at the amount of profit he wants. For a few more things to arrive. Honestly. Okay. Got no ammunition. So, trade. Rapidly losing patience. Still. Typical. Hmm. 
We've got to be careful. Let's get some cheese. Let's do things a bit at a time. Seems to be rap rapidly losing patience, I'm guessing. But he seems to like the old 50% profit. Willing to trade, good. Kangaroo cheese for a few tables. Damn, that's, that's, that's a hell of a lot of cheese that I've just traded. We've got lots of cheese, is basically what we're saying. A lot of good cheese. Quivers. It's not going to hurt, is it? Bags. Copper greaves. Copper chain leggings. Always good. Wool yarn. Something wrong with a bit of thread and yarn. So about 300 worth. Let's take one thing off the table. I just don't want to trade too much, but oh, he's got a lot of plump helmets. Various cave fish. Hey, cave fish are good. Hardly worth anything, but food is always good. God, here is dog sweet bread. I dread to think what prepared emu hearts and all sorts of crazy, hideous food. And tripe from some creature that I've never heard of. Giant Kia tripe. There are giant varieties? Oh my god. We're, we're running out of stuff, aren't we? Okay, well I think we've probably traded enough. I mean, we've got a little bit more to trade. We've got... I can get about 80's worth of something. Anvils. Oh, here we go. We've got a lot of bronze bolts and things like that. Yeah, okay, okay. Well, that willow shield is of high quality, so I think it's worth giving it a shot. Oh, God, you want to... you want everything. No thanks. Quick. More goods. More goods! We're not trading that. We are trading that. The finished goods, they're, 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 they're done now. Um, it's a bin. A throne, which is of an alright quality. It's a good quality. It's not an alright quality. So I'm going to put that tape. No, no. Throne, 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 throne. Just so that I can actually see... I need a bauxite throne. I just want to be absolutely sure. There we go. Just so that I can see for certain that the value of goods is the way it is. Okay, come on people. Let's drain these traders as much as possible. Chris Dragon Slayer has begun a mysterious construction. This is a good thing. Well, most people are working quite well. Come on, come on, this episode's gone on long enough. 
Anything else adding to the... Um, So, yes, the, uh, the the triple line is definitely of higher quality than the asterisks. I think that is that is clear. Okay, so what did I actually want? I wanted the ammo, didn't I? There was some ammo. Copper cage. Spears. Here we go. Steel shorts. So you see, I could I could go nuts and start Russian training sword. Steel picks, bronze crossbow. Oh, we could do with more crossbows. We've, we, no, we've got metal. We, we've traded metal. Got shoe, boot, helm, gauntlet, bags. We've got a lot of bags of leather and cloth, and oh, there's so much to trade. It's mental. Come on. Here we go. Bronze bolts. 25 bronze bolts. There we go. Oh. That's a good training. That's a good trading session. Trading session. Trading session. Okay. Um, trader is um, not requested at all. On a roll, you have done very well indeed. You are now an expert appraiser. Yeah, novice, it's still only a novice negotiator. But you, you're doing well. You're doing well. We um, now have very large Chris Dragons. They work secretively. Let's see if there's any dead animals to butcher. Probably not. Process some fish. I want you, whoever it is, on cooking, on brewing. I want the whole lot. Just go for it. That is a lot of crazy ass stuff to cook. We can brew lots of things. We're not allowed to, and we're allowed to cook that stuff. We've got a lot of things to cook. Brilliant. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. So, um, we shall see what, um, what Chris Dragonslayer creates. This will be interesting. So, until next time, cheerio.